All right, folks, for the six of us in attendance and the dozens watching from home, it's time. Slam Press Tomes is proud to present Sketchlemania 43. This is the May. Entering the cage tonight, Wing. In at 175 pounds, Paul Lightsaber Limenko. Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. No, Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, a fan favorite returns to the cage, weighing in at a lean 110 pounds, Mike. Rebel Alliance Rude! Like the power, everyone. Good job. 110 pounds. I've been working hard. <laughs> All right. Weighing in at 180 pounds. The one and only Kalman, Old Man Can't Tech, A New Hope, Andrasovsky. <laughs> OMG, if only I still weighed 180 pounds. <laughs> if only. Those days That's Mike what he's doing. Long, he's at 110. Gone. Those guys are long, long gone like the Empire. <laughs> and finally, weighing in at a hefty 525 pounds, <laughs> Sean <laughs> Death Star Daily. I I weigh that, that. Oh my gosh! I uh, <laughs> get, a, get a hold of yourself, Sean. Yeah, you know, sorry. Yeah. That ain't no moon. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not, I'm not very comfortable having to weigh in before we do these. Things. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, weighing in at Nonio Business, uh, your host, yours truly, Martin Slam Duncan. We're gonna have a good time. Before we lower the cage, we're going to have a quick word from Kevin Smith. Hey, man, it's me, Kevin Smith. And Martin Slam Duncan. And you are watching Sketchlemania. Check it out, kids. Or go watch Clerks again. Yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's lower the cage. It's been a hot minute since I've done one of these. Uh, now we did one. We did one live at uh, Toronto Comic Con in March, and then I took a month off, and we're back again. But uh, the crazy thing is, we've actually never done Star Wars on this show, which I think is pretty nuts. Um, but I'm excited for it. All right. Uh, Mary Chantel LaRoque says. Ruth! Hey, it's me. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> awesome. Um, Renee says, production value seems to have gone up uh, by the tens of dollars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> Wait, there's a budget? <laughs> we never... <laughs> yeah, man, we're in our fourth year. <laughs> 43, man. Mike, you were on number one. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Wicked. One. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Forty-three. That's insane. Was it even called Sketchlemania? Uh, it was. Oh. Yeah, Sketchlemania one. It was Mike and Shane. And we did. It was yeah. Hawkman or Sabretooth. It was one of the it two. It was Sabretooth. I think was the first. Okay, you guys want to hear something crazy about that? The very first Sketchlemania, the guy that won the the Sabretooth piece. There's a friend of the show named Joe Wild. He's a great collector and supporter of comic book artists. And I haven't mailed him that piece yet after all that time. <laughs> and it's because wow. he's been waiting to get another commission from me, a uh, Superman commission. And he was like, you know, when you... And I was like, well, what kind of Superman commission do you want, man? And he was like, I want something hopeful. And he's like, so when the feeling arises and you've got some hope and you want to create something... <laughs> Awesome. Do a very hopeful Superman piece, a commission, and, and just mail it with my saber tooth. 
I and that is going, going back a long time. Wow. I'm so still nice waiting for a thunderbolt of hope to strike, I reckon. Wow. But, uh, <laughs> but Joe's a cool dude. Cool and Joe, he, he insists that I don't mail him that piece until the Superman's done. So, you know. Right. Joe, get the piece, man. <laughs> That's crazy. But this is all about a new hope, so. Yeah, it's a new hope. Yes, that's <laughs> yeah. right. A so tonight hope. you're drawing Superman. <laughs> night yeah that's right <laughs> all right we have yes. we have a few folks. Superman. uh nicole mcselty says hello hey nicole and derek says looking good that star <laughs> nice <laughs> uh paul hey it's been too hey, long paul. love this show awesome lineup tonight i agree thanks guys for once again doing this um, I know we had a couple of technical difficulties getting on the show for a sec. We did make it on time. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think we've quite sorted out the um, the charity, but we'll we'll figure that out during the show. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, Alderaan Refugee Fund. We're down to like, yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> Tots and pears. Um, all right we have here doing great mike thanks uh how's things on the light side are you on the light side mike the life side light no. <laughs> light 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 as opposed to the dark side oh on the light side yeah how yeah. are things on the light side i don't know uh bright i reckon <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> you know what though i i chose like i actually have fun uh putting the poster together for these things and i try to <laughs> i try to chose uh choose uh interesting pictures uh if you guys don't send me them um but <laughs> the one i picked from you is like you look all like dark side vader on but you're like the salty uh sea captain or something but it looks pretty cool anyway uh, i thought it was a cool pick that Sounds like that should have been for like a SpongeBob night. <laughs> hey, listen, we, we're just getting to Star Wars now. SpongeBob's a little, <laughs> a little ways away. Oh, I can actually see comments if I turn around. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, hey, Jay, so Jay Crawford says, uh, looks awesome. Sorry, I'm a little behind here. Hey, is uh, a Deep River this weekend or was it last weekend? Oh, it's, yeah. It's it this month, right? I think it's. Yeah, I don't think it's happened yet, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, Jay, let us know. Deep River uh, Geek Fest. Check that out. Uh, Brian Ancy says, looking slick already, guys. Brian, we should have you on the show at some point, man. Yeah, man. Absolutely got to get Brian on the show. The guy's killer. Yep. Uh, Neil says, Martin. <laughs> hey, Neil. Uh, Neil says, Paul. <laughs> I see a trend here. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be a little uh, more specific. Let me let me <laughs> let me catch up a little bit, and then we'll do a quick round table. Um, I really I really need to hire someone. <laughs> we got those tens of dollars coming in now. So, you know. yeah. uh, all right, Mary Chantel says LOL. Uh, Neil says hello, Mike Ruth, Calman, Edosovsky, Polameco, and Sean Daly. There you go. Howdy. Uh, What's up? Right. And oh, now they're talking to each other in the comments. Curl, yeah, they are, right? <laughs> I was like, what does this mean? <laughs> they're talking to each other. <laughs> These all look great. Just started question mark. How is everybody doing so far? Yeah, we're just started. I'm just catching up on some of these uh, these comments and then we're gonna sort of go around. Uh, but I think it's pretty straightforward. We're we're doing Star Wars tonight. Seems pretty timely. Um, would have been great if it actually landed on May the fourth, but that's okay. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, Renee says donations for people that hang out in all all the wrong places. Oh. <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh, so many people just tuned out. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, Neil wants to know if you're doing a SpongeBob Vader, uh, Mike. <laughs> a SpongeBob Vader. Yes. No. Yes, he is. No. No. <laughs> uh, okay. Jay, no, but I, ten prompters just ran to their AI to make that happen. 
Um, Vader. I'm here for not really. I'm not really here for it. <laughs> um, Jay Crawford said June 10th. Okay, so it's coming up June 10th. That's uh, Deep River Geek Fest. Go check it out. It's a fun Very show. Cool. Uh, and if you're in the Deep River area, or even if you're not and want to make the trip, it's a beautiful area. Um, what area is that exactly? Yeah. Deep River. North, north and away. North Ontario. Yeah, it's very north. It's in, about in, in Ontario. Oh. Yeah, I want to yeah. say about three to four hours north. Cool. Ish uh, from on Toronto, awesome. uh, if you're driving. Um, but it's uh, yeah, a really nice place. Uh, actually, Mike, you and I did the the show um, last time around, so it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Brian Etsy sounds good. Uh, just finish off a Moth Gideon. Oh, nice. You should uh, post it in the comments. Let us see it. Okay, I'm caught up. <laughs> All right, let's 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 go around. All right, so uh, I'm just going to go around. You guys can tell us uh, who you're drawing. And if you happen to know, like, I think what we'll do, guys, uh, if it's all right, maybe we'll do it individual. Um, we'll do individual charities. Yeah, and that way, sure. you know, we could decide. You could decide what you want. If you if you haven't decided yet, uh, that's fine. We'll figure it out and uh, we'll post it when we do the auction for these. Cool. All right, so let's start off. Uh, I have uh, Sean Daly here. Um, let Yo. me let me big him up here. Boom! What are you drawing tonight, Sean? Uh, well, so we were just talking about that Star Wars game Shatterpoint that's coming out. It's like yes. a tabletop game. Uh, a lot of miniatures, looks like a ton of fun to assemble and paint. Uh, and one of the launch characters is Dooku. So I'm, and everything is kind of based off of Clone Wars animation stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to rewatch some Clone Wars and uh, I'm going to draw some Dooku. Dooku's the man. I Such a Dooku. fun, interesting like, antithesis. Yeah, it will be fun. You know, I could see me leading up, me leading those uh, that game with Dooku for sure. Very so cool. Down. Yeah, we'll be That's playing. Nice. We'll so are playing. you gonna be uh are you gonna be uh coloring this or are gonna be inks or yeah i'll definitely toss some like a uh, paint down on top of this i think oh nice yeah Very i mean cool. you have to anytime there's a lightsaber you just like have to add that color like i feel like i don't even have an option to be honest it's just like <laughs> awesome <laughs> yeah how it has to be awesome very cool man i love it uh do you know who you want to your charity or still uh, yeah there's it? a uh a women's shelter in the West End. Um, okay. That I'll be uh, sending everything to. It just helps um, women and their children kind of get out of tricky situations and find a place to um, just live comfortably for a while. So Very cool. Is it the Red Door Shelter by any chance? Uh, it's not that. But, okay. Uh, okay. Similar. We've done those before. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yep. Uh, so just a reminder, we will be auctioning off all these pieces of art after the show. Uh, we'll provide you information. It'll be on uh, the Sketchel Mania uh, Facebook page. And if you're interested, you just uh, uh, bid on them, increments of $5. Uh, we'll probably end at the same time, Friday, 5 o'clock. And the highest bid uh, wins the piece. We just ask that you send just money for the shipping to the... Uh, to the artist and uh yeah this is this is going to be a killer lineup of art guys all right so let's move on um mike let's go to mike hey. oh i so think i see I, what you're doing but so go ahead. I, uh, yeah i uh i usually my, my favorite star wars thing is the wampa but i also had the yes. uh <laughs> i also had the uh one of the snow troopers when I was a kid and I had the Wampa and the snow trooper and they were kind of like buddies. And I used to have them hunt my younger brother's toys together. Like a, almost like, like an early stages of like the show primal, you know, like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> trooper gets trapped on Hoth and you know, he's Wampa. separated and you know, he get, he loses his whole party to this, to this Wampa and then they become friends and then they're just like, you know, then they're just like a different kind of Han and Chewy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, anyway, I'm just playing around with that kind of fantasy today because uh, the only Star Wars I really kind of enjoy these days are like when it's grown men playing with their toys, like Mandalorian kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, I was actually gonna say that like I love your Wampa. 
<laughs> it just sounds dirty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, anyway, but, but I do. I love, I love your wampa, man. It's such, it's such a great piece. Um, oh, thanks, man. I, I, yeah, that was that was a fun. I did a, a painting a couple years ago. The yeah. I, I tend to draw the wampa a lot. I've actually. It's weird when you said we've never done a Star Wars show before because. I feel like I've done a million Star Wars shows uh, during the pan- yeah. like since the pandemic started. I know I've done at least two or three for the Comic Con Africa guys, and I think we've tackled Star Wars once or twice on things are getting sketchy. But uh, okay, anyway, yeah, interesting. We've never done it here yet, but um, yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah, I know I'm a little behind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, that looks awesome. That's that's. You oh, thank like, yeah. It's yeah, uh, just on like on there, man. That's crazy. It's like Can a nine by a little bit to the right. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. So it's gonna be like they're coming out of the cave. Oh, they're not looking dude. the right direction. There's gonna be a wampa <laughs> partially obscured by a snowstorm. It's yeah, uh, you know. It's not That's looking awesome. good for them snow troopers, man. I'll tell you. No. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it really minimal. Like, I don't really want to use any lines. I might just make this like a pure painting. Kind of. oh, cool. I, don't know. We'll see. I get that with both their arms for hmm? now. I get that with both their arms for now. Yeah. <laughs> Here, this one, this one, I don't, I, at the risk of, of sending Mike off on a tangent, I'm just going to put this one up here. Uh, Danny Harrell says, what is this, some kind of art thing? I thought they had AI for that now. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, Danny's one of my favorite people, man. It's all good. He gets a pass. I know he's just playing. <laughs> you guys should actually check out uh, Danny. Danny's a superstar, man. He's uh, he's He's got his book, Rebel Girls, uh, which picked up by Keen Spot. It's going to be published. Oh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, yeah. it's just on fire. He's got amazing variant covers from uh, from Becca. Becca did one, and uh, Brianna yeah, I did Becca's. one. I uh, Danny, uh, yeah. uh, Daniel Lansdowne did one. Danny Harrell himself, the writer and colorist, did one. The artwork on the inside sensational. It's it's a really cool book, man. You guys uh, definitely can get your shop to order it if uh, you haven't done so yet. Is it a Kickstarter or is it? A- no, no, it got picked up by the publisher uh, Keen Spot, and they've oh, been sweet. picked up by an even bigger company now. And uh, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff happening. So yeah, That's it's awesome, very exciting. Man. Very That's exciting. Awesome. Go check out <clears throat> Rebel Girls. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, all right, and don't check out the AI stuff. Um, all right, let's move it on. Uh, Curl three years says Dooku for the win. Okay, I'm a little behind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not Dooku. All right, let's move over to Paul and I'll get back to some of these uh comments soon. Uh, Paul, all right, see, see, I got a Star Wars going on, Paul. <laughs> Are you doing all the Star Wars? I'm doing all of the Star Wars. <laughs> all is all the Star Wars. <laughs> oh my God! What is this? Is that, um, is that the Falcon? It is. Oh. Um, I did a, I did a commission like this uh, a while ago. Yeah. And it was from another angle, but then like in one of my sketches, like uh, for this commission, was from this angle. I've been itching to do it for a while, so I like, mm. oh, yes. Right. Sometimes I'll like give like a few sketches for commissions, and then like I'll, I'll give them an option of which one to pick for me to do. And then like in my head, I'm like I, I don't know which one I'd rather, which one I'd rather do the one that they picked or the one that I would. I don't know. There was other sketch, and then so I don't know. So now I have this opportunity to do this other one. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just do, it, just do all the angles tonight. I, I, I will. <laughs> no, that looks Star Wars. This is like I'll do the Star Wars, man. <laughs> yeah. uh, that no, that looks really ambitious. <laughs> That's Dude, awesome. It's a good thing you started it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was like, if I want to actually like, try and finish this on the show, I need to uh, start this month. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, that looks good. Uh, Paul, uh, actually, sorry, Mike. Did we talk yeah. about your charity? Oh, uh, we didn't. Um, I think this week I would like to support the uh, Toronto Wildlife. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think awesome. that's what I want to do. Toronto Wildlife. Okay. Uh, oh, Toronto Wildlife Rescue, sorry, specifically. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll provide all the links uh, when we put the art up. So we'll know uh, where to go. And we, yeah. also, we always encourage, like, even if you don't get a piece of art, you know, these are generally pretty worthy causes, right? Uh, we try to pick things that are 
uh, you know, like the majority of the money is going actually to the to the right place, and they're legit things like that. So, so have a look. Um, empty the the purse strings, so to speak. <laughs> Paul, do you know where you want uh, the money to go to? Um, I, maybe I should Google it for. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's called Parkdale Food Bank. Um, okay. Donated there before, and um, just get the on the name. Like, I don't know. Like, I, we were talking about this earlier, trying to figure out which one to donate to before. Yeah. Um, yeah, Parkdale Community Food Bank. Yeah. And I believe their uh, their lineups are getting longer and longer. So, I've seen that. Yeah. I've seen that. Uh, I know uh, Richard Pace, friend of the show, he often gives to the food bank as well. But And he's actually posted a few pictures of that. I was, I was shocked. I mean, I'm shocked, but not shocked. Right. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 Sadly shocked, let's just say. All right. Uh, let's move over to Calman. Yo, yo, what up? Calman, uh, what you drawing for us tonight? I don't want to say. I want to see if anybody can guess. <laughs> okay. Right. Is this like a um, obscure as nerdy pick? as Star Wars is? That's an awesome I'm going gesture. Nerdier. Whoever it is, that's going to be. It's a fire. Yeah. Uh, you know, action. Like, Thank you. I'm energy. battling my natural <laughs> battling my natural anxiety and stiffness i'm trying to I use guess. uh some new techniques nice if anybody has heard of the riley method it's like a flowy way to break down anatomy i've only used riley. it a couple of times and every it seems so odd but every time i do it i get but your comment says it all it's the first thing you said so it must be working the riley method oh it's cool and riley rhythms he was a art teacher who taught in new york he died in the 60s oh, okay uh, yes yeah Bridgman. Bridgman was his teacher. We all know Bridgman, right? Of course. Yep. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Mm. And uh, unlike Bridgman, none of his notes really survive. It's just his students and their students who have sort of retroactively cobbled together this fragmented pieces of a of an approach to Very gesture. Cool. And I'm obsessed with it. It's like my internet detective pastime. Cool. And, uh, and I teach life drawing at the college level. And every time I get a new bit of Riley, I excitedly like add it to my class content. Awesome, man. I want to cool. take your life drawing class. <laughs> we'll sneak you in. We can figure it out. Mm -hmm. uh, as, we have a, as a model? Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, what heavens no. Know. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. That's no, no, no. Not unless you're going to supply everyone with a lot of medication after the <laughs> experience. You, you can, you can draw all of us as because, of, uh, because of the way my camera is oriented. I'm assuming that was you, Mike, who wants to take the class? Sorry, say it again. Who yeah, who said Mike. they wanted to take the class? That was Mike. Me, me, yes, yeah, Mike. Cool, cool. We'll do it. We'll do, we'll do a ginger wampa drawing challenge. And we'll <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> I am down. So Wait, is I'll, that... I'll, throw it, I'll throw it to the group here because we're all deep, deep cut OG nerds. Um, this is uh, early days expanded universe. I don't know if you can see the whole figure. Wow. It's uh, a female character. Yeah. Uh, from the Marvel comics, not the ones from five years ago. The ones mm, from cool. oh my god, twenty five years, thirty five years ago. The the the, the Chaken ones. Chaken worked on it. Yeah, Joe yeah. Duffy worked on it. Cynthia Martin worked on it. Loads of people worked. Walt Simonson oh, yeah. did a bunch of them. So this is a character who's only from the comics, but who completely captivated my young mind, and who I still think is awesome. And I thought. What is the least well-known thing I could do to ensure that nobody bids on this? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Has she got Perfect. kind of like a snake head, like a cobra head? Yeah, that's a sort of a triangular headpiece. Yeah, here, yeah. Making shape. So I if you know this remember. character at all, that'll probably give it away. <clears throat> oh man, I I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know, and I've I mean, read some of those comics. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Oh. Any any guesses from the chat? Uh, yeah, if, if you if you know what this character is, uh, I'll, I'll drop, right a, I'll drop a couple of hints. I'll drop some hints. I mean, uh, this is a really good opportunity for you to be making up Star Wars characters. <laughs> yeah, I, make, I almost I'm made one up one today. Up. <laughs> That's all I did from grade four to grade eight. Right. <laughs> my, my drawing, I'm actually making a new character. So, so she is evil. She uses okay. a lightsaber whip. Whoa. Um, okay. Her last name is a kind of cheese. <laughs> Brie? Yes. <laughs> oh. Ding ding ding. <laughs> you got it. I'm not I'm yeah. not serious. Yeah, I figured I figured mozzarella isn't very Star Wars. <laughs> 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 
Before Gouda there was might have been uh, Darth Gouda. Yeah. Darth Gouda. <laughs> <laughs> Darth Yarlsberg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so before like before there was Allison Brie. <laughs> yeah. Before yeah. there was Allison Brie, there was Shira Brie. Shira Brie. Mm, she was added to cool. the comics after um after Empire to give Luke a love interest. Oh. She had like a, a ginger bob and she kept calling him Ace. She was oh. kind of like a Mary Jane, like a spunky, you know, she could outfly Luke. Um, huh. And then I... she seemingly died in a horrible accident and came back and revealed that she was a spy all along. She was Darth Vader's special apprentice. And she was the, the OG uh, female Sith from like 1984. Huh. Okay. She uh, came back as, as the Dark Lady Lumia. Is she not canon anymore? Well, I don't know. I think they erased all of that in terms of officialness, but sometimes they, so. they strip mine it. Sometimes they'll pull something out of the uh, the ether. So who knows? So much good stuff. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up. <clears throat> that is actually a really cool design. Oh yeah, that's what uh, we can uh, Wow. Yeah, I like the headpiece. That is there's cool. a there's a yeah. Walt Simonson cover if you can find her. She's dueling with Luke. Pretty good. She's in, like purple shades of purple. Huh. Oh, cool. oh, that's cool too. Oh yeah, that's neat. Whoa. Oh, right on. <laughs> Love it, man. That's cool. So that's you learn stuff cut. on the show. <laughs> <laughs> How to make your nerdy show ten thousand times nerdier. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Deep cuts. Deep cuts. <laughs> I almost gonna... did a I almost did a, a Sith Wampa today, like the one that lost oh, his arm. I was gonna make like a like a lightsaber glove that was like a Freddy Krueger style glove for a Wampa, where each hand oh. each finger is a lightsaber. <laughs> but then I thought, surely I couldn't have been the first person to think of that, so I didn't want to go down some road that had already been done better be than I. So I, I just decided to leave that idea on the shelf. But uh, I don't know. A, a, Sith, a Sith Wampa might be kind of fun to just design anyway, you know, for fun. Infinity but. Saber Gauntlet, all the colors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. There's a Infinity mashup. Saber. Darth Yogan <laughs> <laughs> Uh So, Calman, uh, do you know what, uh, what charity you want to uh, participate yeah. in? Yeah. Yeah. Due to, I mean, the lines in the food bank are a very real effect of the insane runaway inflation and crazy time, horrible times we're in. But another effect is a lot of people are abandoning pets. They just can't afford to feed. And so I want to donate to the Humane Society. Nice. Oh, wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. I'm An alarming down. spike in people just leaving dogs, abandoning oh. dogs and cats. So yeah, it's, it's they, they got to be careful. That kills me. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to jump back on some of these. Uh, oh, by the way, if anybody cares, uh, I'm doing a original character, kind of, based on a canon character. I am doing Darth Gonk. Gonk the robot <laughs> as a Sith master. All right. I love that. So let's move. I, <laughs> I saw that comment, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Neil says, well, Mike is technically a AI. He's a Terminator. Thank can't you. confirm. Uh, Futurama characters as Sith or Jedi one day, please. Ooh, that'd oh, be that'd cool. be fun. That's yeah, cool. that would be cool. Bender is almost like a natural for that. <laughs> he do so he much is. Uh, yeah, Farm, Emperor did Farmsworth. They, are, did you hear that they're coming out with a Fire and Ice comic series? Of course I did. Yes. I went crazy. Mike, uh, I must get Mike to do one for me. Yeah, I'm going to try to get my hands on some of those blanks. Uh, I would love it if anyone out there wanted to hire me for a cover for that series, though. My heavens. <laughs> I know, right? That's, oh. Yeah, I, yeah 40 I'm, years in the making. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, oh I man, I'm, I'm excited though. Yeah. Um, okay, I mean, we're gonna go off track, but kind of because Star Wars is a little fantasy, right? Um, so, does anybody remember Hawk the Slayer? Sure. Mm, yep. Uh, okay. So I just finished reading the the sequel that just came out in comic book form. <laughs> It's it's fantastic. Wow. And <laughs> no one demanded it. Gar Garth Ennis. Oh, cool. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's great. Brilliant. It's so great. 
Yeah, yeah. So it's the direct sequel to the film from like 1986 or something. Yeah. Uh, so go check it out, folks. <laughs> I don't want to be the only one who's read this thing. Um, all right. Neil, uh, Danny needs to do one for me too. Yes. Uh, I was actually talking to also part of the show, Chris Campana. That's that's his jam too, man. Oh, dude, uh, straight up, yeah. He he actually, I got him to do a fire and ice uh, commission for me way back. The Dark uh, Wolf, yeah. Dark Wolf, because that was that's his jam. So. Oh yeah. I'll definitely. I'm, I'm gonna buy a bunch of uh, blanks for sure. Yep. Like, Dark Wolf was basically Raceland 1.0, wasn't he? Uh, no, I think you're thinking of uh, Black Wolf from the Wizards, no? Well, the bad guy from Fire and Ice. I don't know if that's Dark Wolf or not. Uh, well, no, Dark Wolf's the, uh, the hero. With the, uh, oh, okay, but there's yeah, a with bad the, guy with, the... with white hair. Yeah. Who I, you're right, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, shit. I put it in the wrong folder with Black Wolf from Wizards. You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There was kind of like the yeah, I I, I see the thread. <laughs> or maybe it was them just trying to put Elric in it somehow. I don't know. Yeah, Very he's Elric basically man. an Elric guy, yeah, pretty yep. much. Yep. I totally see that. Yep. Um Mar That's one I wish would come on audiobook, man. Elric? Yeah. It it, it did. No, it did not. Yes, and I just I just picked it up. No I've never, way, because really? I've never I've never read it, and it just came out on audiobook. The yes. original, like the yes. what? The, no. Yes. Well, this is fantastic. Yes. I think at least a couple of them are on Audible. I haven't checked in a while. Uh, I've never been able to find them. I I thought I read somewhere uh, that he had for he had strictly forbidden it to happen or something. I was looking okay. for him forever, and I just happened to be looking for something new to listen to, and oh, I saw it on the store. I am going to get it. That is awesome. Yep. There you go. Um. So Marie says, loving the details, Mike. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Annie says, Neil, only if I could draw Snow Miser and Heat Miser from the stop motion Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> I would take it. <laughs> yeah, yep, for sure. But Danny, you have to you have to sing the song while you're drawing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that is required. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm Mr. Snow Miser. <laughs> I'm Mr. Cold. Um, okay, so, uh, so they're still talking about this cover. <laughs> I think there's a commission going on in the, in the chat here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's go to, oh, someone said Shira Bree. They probably said it before we said it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sorry, but we'll give B Macintosh the, <laughs> the kudos on that one. But no prizes in the mail. There's no, yeah, the prize. <laughs> yeah. Wait, keep an eye out for those prizes. Yeah. Uh, Disney is currently leaning into the tale of dark shittiest. <laughs> oh, not a fan. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I'm loving the Disney shows. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I'm having a good time with them. Did uh, you watch Visions at all? I need to. No, oh, I haven't. Yeah. Not, not two yet. Cool. I love the first season. Oh, you'll love this one then. Holy smokes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Neil says old school right there. I think he's talking about Shira as well. That's so cool. Very good, guys. Yeah, Darth Gonk, good. man. <laughs> this guy. I thought, like, okay, obviously my skills are not the best at <laughs> drawing. So I thought I could do, I could, like, draw kind of a toaster. And it's not as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> anyway, never is no, because I kind of do it on the side, you know, like uh, get all fancy. But anyway, Darth print Gonk. it, three print it. It's a thing, yeah. I'll probably it'll probably happen faster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Neil, <laughs> Neil says, let's see it. Uh, all right, all right. I'll give, I'll give people a peek. I will set the bar really low here. Hold on a sec. This is not indicative of the art that will be displayed tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, hell yeah. Darth Gonk. That's fantastic. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I don't know. 
You know what right? it needs? It, no. uh, it needs some color for that lightsaber. Well, yeah, I didn't even, like, it's That's just it. pencil right now. There ain't nothing yeah. wrong with that. Dark talk. Uh, I, I actually struggled the most with uh, me. <laughs> and I don't, still don't think I nailed it, but that's okay. There you go. All right. <laughs> so, uh, what charity are you doing, Martin? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can can three dollars help anybody? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Neil says uh, maybe in the future I could join one of these art shows, but scared to go against Mike. Oh. What's that? Oh. Neil says he's scared. He's scared. He wants to come on one of the art shows, but he's scared to go up against you. Oh, man, no one's going up against anybody. Neil can draw like anybody, man. He, he got, did an awesome blast star for me years ago. Nice. Uh, I met him, uh, I think it was like 2014 in, uh, in Saskatoon. I had done a show out there called the Saskatoon Blitz. Okay. And, um, yeah, I went out and had a crazy uh, Brazilian steakhouse dinner with uh tim hofstra and uh and neil and neil presented me with an amazing gouache painting like 11 by 17 might even be bigger uh of, of blastar and it's uh it's friggin awesome it's in my blastar box which is under another box right now i have a whole box just full of blastar drawings i've collected for 20 years so <laughs> yeah. it's uh but it's in there i gotta get them all properly displayed one day i'll have a proper place that I can show all these things off. But yeah, he's awesome. He'd be great to have Neil on the show. Brandon, too. Sure Brandon's is. on the show. Danny Harrell, too. Let's Get all do these it. sons of bitches on the show. <laughs> Let's do it. I, You know what? I just need to have more shows. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, man. I, I, I kind of limit him to like once a month for, for uh, I don't know, There's a lot of stuff going on, I guess. But Sure, yeah. Uh, I used to I used to be able to do it every two weeks. Um, hopefully, we'll get back to it. Um, but that's kind of a good segue. I do have a Kickstarter coming up this year. <laughs> that was not smooth at all. Um, I do have a Kickstarter coming up this late year in October, so I've been kind of busy working on that. Um, but that said, I think uh, maybe it's time to do a little bit of a trailer for the yeah, upcoming man. Frankenstein Vision Kickstarter, uh, which in, in which case we have a killer, absolutely killer lineup of folks and maybe later i'll tease a couple of pieces uh that will be in the book all right so check it out Nice. What a lineup! Holy smokes! Is so that cool. crazy? Yeah, it's wild. I know that. Uh, you know, <laughs> I know. If you know, if you, you know that. <laughs> at least of those? one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm super stoked. Uh, the art that I've seen so far is phenomenal. Um, yeah, so it's it's gonna be a heck of a book. I tell oh, you. So cool. When's it? Uh, when's the Kickstarter? So we're gonna kickstart it. Uh, I think we're planning on the second week of October. Nice. And we're just going to go to the end of the month, so uh, seems like a good time to to do that in October. Um, we're going to have a few things um, planned, some events and things like that. Um, I want to take this time to quickly ask uh, if you haven't, please jump on. If you go to the Slam Press Tomes uh, page, I'm going to I'm going to put a link. And you go to the top where it says sign up. If you sign up for the uh, mailing list, uh, we're going to start some giveaways. And we're going to start the giveaways next month, which is coming up really fast. So the only way you're going to be on the list to get these giveaways is if you go on the mailing list. And don't worry, I'm not planning to spam anybody. <laughs> it's just, it's just going to be some information about the upcoming Kickstarter 
um, and some behind the scenes stuff that uh, you know. That we, sounds like something a spammer would say. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, I, <laughs> we're totally gonna spam you. No, um, no, we're not gonna spam you. But uh, there will be some like uh, we have a lot of work in progress stuff, which is pretty cool. So people, we don't know if it's all gonna make the book. So that's probably you know really the only place you're gonna be able to see some of that stuff. So go check it out. All right, all right. How let's move that? on. How does it compare to uh, Dracula Visions? Like, do you have the same amount of artists? Uh, no, we're uh, we're actually expanding the book this time. Uh, Dracula Visions, I think, was around the sixty pages, sixty sixty two pages around there. Yeah. Uh, this one is already at the seventy page mark. Nice. Holy moly! Yeah, uh, we also have three specific cover artists on here. And we're also going to be doing a uh, mystery cover yet. So Ooh. the mystery cover um, is going to be picked uh, out of some of the art that's going to be um, brought in. So, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. a mystery to everybody. It's a mystery to, it's a mystery to myself. <laughs> we don't know yet. But uh, I'm sort of, sort of reserving that spot. Uh, we did something similar last time with Dracula. Uh, we, there was a big uh, kerfuffle when I guess Andy brought his cover out and started putting it on social media. So we ended up making it a cover, and uh, we're going to do something similar for this time as well. All right, uh, let's see. Do 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 do. Uh, Neil says love it. Uh, Craig says, looks good. What's up, Craig? Ah, hey. Craig mentioned he was going to check out one of these shows. I think this is his first show. Hey. Welcome, Craig. Uh, B. McIntosh looks great, Martin. Thank you very much. Uh, Jay Crawford got to run, but I want to start Paul's at 50 and Mike's at 50. All right. Cool. Hope to be back when the show ends. That's awesome. Nice. Okay, so uh, that's a great that's a great uh, segue as well. If you want, you can actually start bidding on these pieces uh, as we're live, and that will encourage some of our artists here. Uh, so put your bid in the chat. I will pull it in tomorrow to the regular bid. So we'll start at whatever the highest is, and whoever gives us the highest tonight, and uh, we'll take it from there. So it looks like we're at fifty for Paul's and fifty for Mike. Very cool. Thank you. All that's right. A, that's $50 of canned goods. Uh, B. McIntosh, is that to be honored to join the Sketchomania crew with Mike? <laughs> yeah, we got to get, you gotta get uh, Brandon on, man. He's good. Actually, speaking of Brandon, hang on a second. I uh, just finished drawing Dodge, the, uh, the pencils anyway. I got a few pages yet to ink. A few too many pages left to ink. But uh, I have. Uh, I had some space in the book, and Brandon actually did this killer, uh, this killer pinup for me. Oh, oh nice. what's that? What's that? Yeah. Oh, that's wicked. Oh my god. Yeah, it's good, man. I love it. Um, cool. This super cool. Big eleven by seventeen piece. And, Brandon, uh, you got some chops, man. That's yeah, awesome. Man. Yep. I. Yeah, I would love. We like. I'm always looking for new blood <laughs> for the show, man. Let's do it. I, I love Good meeting stuff. people. I love meeting artists too. So, here you go. Super cool. Uh, Good stuff. Okay. Craig says if you ever need artists for one of these, let me know. I'll tattoo my piece, wherever the theme is, live and donate the loot made from it to whatever charity. Huh. Cool, man. Let's see. So, when you say tattoo, do you actually mean tattoo? <laughs> are you just going to do like a live tattoo? And then how are you going to auction that off? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, thanks, Frank. For sure. Uh, I hope Ooh, there's a hardcover. Book. Dracula was a seriously great book. Absolutely, there will be a hardcover. Uh, so we're doing, like I said, we're going to do four covers. Uh, we're going to do the regular cover, uh, another soft cover, Hardcover will have its own cover, and then we'll have a third uh, mystery softcover as well. 
Uh, Danny says, Neil, Mecco, and I'll go against Mike. I ain't scared of losing. I welcome it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what are you, are you terrorizing these people? What's going no, on? <laughs> man, no one loses. No one, no one, no one. There's no, there's no actual battles on this. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, I got a lot of trash talking. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, though, <laughs> Mike, I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking about doing an actual battle soon. Yeah. Um, I've got oh, to yeah. figure out how we're going to judge it. Reasonable That's parameters that make sense and don't, don't like, you know, super limit an artist's ability to do what they do and that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. to it, right? <laughs> and and I'll, I'll happily take uh, some advice from some of you guys if you have some advice on doing that. But I really want to do like an impartial judge. I know that's going to be mm. hard. Uh, which it's hard though. It's hard. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a, it's, I love the idea, but like, yep. you know, it, what you have to do is you have to match, I don't know, you'd almost have to break some artists up into categories and then match them with the same character because, like, as we have learned in previous things, yeah, you know, a drawing of uh, a drawing of Rocket Raccoon by Jay Fosgate will defeat anything that you put against. <laughs> you know what I mean? It will defeat anything. You could put Ken Lashley Spawn up against a Jay Fosgate ra Rocket Raccoon, and that Rocket Raccoon is going to win. That's a good point. But that's, that's... but that's if we go to the crowd, right? So hmm? we need. That's if we go to the crowd. Right? So it's yeah, like, that's what I mean. And, and you know, you have to get a judges. crew of judges, man. You can't just be one judge because that could get that could get Sith Lord evil real quick. You know? <laughs> See, this is why I haven't done this so far. <laughs> it's already getting you. We haven't even done this, and there's already controversy. <laughs> yeah. So, so and, and, and here's and ultimately, it's just for fun anyway. So, of course. But but I know there are egos involved, so we want to make sure that. Uh, I, I will maybe even 3D print a little trophy. <laughs> a little trophy? Come on, I've seen some big stuff you can print. Print some big, like, New Japan-style 80s giant trophy. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. I would, I would expect a trophy I can wear in my head. <laughs> I'll put one on a big chain. I want a trophy <laughs> I can rest flame. books on. Yeah. I'll do a Flavor Flav trophy. But, yeah, I'm really <laughs> thinking about it. I'll, I'll pick your guys' brains, but I kind of want to do one... Um, I think it'd be cool, and, and maybe do one over the course of a month. Oh, like round robin elimination style, like WrestleMania like four. Four people, four people, four people, four people, <laughs> four people, right? And then the winner of each of those categories battle it out. Mm. Mm. That's a cool idea. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, criteria, I guess, for the judges. We'll have to figure that out. Uh, maybe do it like I, figure skating, where there's like the the top. The top one, the top score, and the bottom score gets eliminated. And, and folks, if you guys have any ideas that are watching, put them in the chats. Uh, I'm also thinking of doing like uh, just to kind of make it fair, maybe make it uh, random. <laughs> <laughs> Spike agrees. Off you go, then. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway. Just a thought. I, I really want to do this thing. Uh, <laughs> I think it would be cool. Um, and it's all, like I said, it's all in good fun, man. But it'll be it'll be cool to actually do a tournament style, Schedule Mania, because that's kind of been that's kind of been the promise since day one. But we really haven't done that. <laughs> <laughs> you could just fix it like wrestling. It's like, just, uh... it's like yeah. It's, it's like to 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 harken back. It's like uh, Mike Ruth's Hope uh, Superman. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Still waiting for hope. Still waiting for hope. All right. Um. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, you're having me geek out over here, Mike. It was an honor to do that old wear bear for you. Awesome. Looks great. Yeah, he killed it, man. It's awesome. Okay. Have the artists fold their art into paper footballs <laughs> and play each other to see who wins. Paper footballs? That's, that's thinking outside of the box. I'm liking this. Good. That's it, sports. It, 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 under, under advisement. That's sports. <laughs> We're <nerds. laughs> Way to bring sports into it. <laughs> sports. Sports ball. Play some sports ball. Uh, print a replica of the Agro Craig trophy from Nickelodeon Guts. I have no idea what that is. Probably won't do it, but I will take that under advisement. <laughs> Everything is looking so good. I agree. Why don't we, why don't we do another quick 
I've barely done any of mine since I've been talking. Um, let's go. Let's go back. I think same route. I'm gonna big you up there, Sean. Cool. Ooh, colors Ooh. coming in. Nice. Oh, that is. That None is very reminiscent in the of the back game, there, man. Yeah, that background's killer. Gotta get those lightning Sith blooms going on. Oh, you, could, you gotta. I mean, you can't draw the Sith without a little bit of lightning, you know? Nope. Lightning Street. That's cool. Yeah, just, I uh, discovered... So is that, uh, like is a that new... watercolor as you're doing? Yeah, this is all watercolor. I just went to the uh, ye old shop and picked up a couple of... Uh, a couple new tubes of stuff that I've been like waiting excitedly to try out. So this is nice. kind of like the uh, the maiden voyage for these paints. <laughs> nice, it's nice. It's always best to experiment on life. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's you learn fast when you do that. Yeah, you know? it's the best best time to experiment yeah. with things is when it's on life. Fair enough. <laughs> <clears throat> Very cool. Yeah, I love it, man. That's great. Awesome. What size is that? Is that like a uh, 8x10 kind of? That's thing? a great question, actually. Um, oops. It looks like this one's clocking in at 7.5 by 11. Cool. Yeah. Love it. All right. Let's move over to Mr. Ruth. I see some color going down here. Some cold, cold colors. Yeah, I'm trying to cut some stuff out, and uh, I always loved that the snow troopers actually had that kind of bit of tan, kind of that light tan canvas color to their uh, to the drapery. So, kind of want to lay that in, and I'll pull, I'll blast that back again with some white highlights. Probably go in with some white gouache eventually, but I just want to lay in some main, you know, get some get some values happening, and then uh, go from there. I've always yeah. loved the helmet. I, I like. Yeah, I don't know. Too. It's something about it. Like, yeah, it's, really it's a cool, cool design. Although it's weird when you actually like re reference it, you realize that the the face shield is actually kind of like a drapery. When I mean, the action yeah. figure, with the action figure, it was like you know, it, it was more like a, a solid more, more like a helm, like a great helm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. uh, because that's just the nature of the material. But, plastic, um, yeah. yeah, but seeing uh, you know, but seeing like the actual you know reference in the costume, it's like oh, it's like a cloth drapery. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like the equivalent of like a like a sand uh, suit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like mm -hmm. like a desert suit, but made for winter. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> hey, Jordan. Jordan's here. Jordan War. Hey, everyone. Hey, Jordan. What's up, Jordan? What's up, Jordan? Jordan was on the show. He debuted a little while back. Yeah. yeah. He did some glow in the dark stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's he, right. He, I remember. Check out Check out Jordan's stuff, man. He does uh, he does this really cool stuff with uh, those pop those pop figures. Oh, he does mm -hmm. a lot of uh, work on the, um, I guess the cases for them, and they're really really cool things. Hmm. He also does this thing where, um, and I kind of want to snipe this for something, but I don't know what yet. But what he does is he gets like, I think it's like twenty people, and they all bid like ten dollars and they all get a chance to win the piece of art so it's like you like put in the ten bucks yeah and it's like a randomized uh sort of uh lottery system that's cool. that's cool yeah so potentially for ten bucks you could get you know a two hundred dollar piece of art yeah. you can probably even try doing something like that for yeah, yeah, I know. I, I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it, but I want to steal that because <laughs> I think that's cool. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, Jordan says he's working on another spawn right now. <laughs> oh, very a, cool. He does a very cool spawn. He does. Very good. All right, let's move over to uh, Mr. Lamenko, lightsaber Lamenko. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So cool. <laughs> Whoa. I'm blind. Blind, I think. <laughs> I'd hate to be cool. driving that thing. It's, uh, it's, it's terrifying. I might finish by the end. <laughs> <An hour>. <laughs> <laughs> might, yeah, it's true. I might. Look at you. You still have another hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. You can do the front side now. 
Yeah, from the, all, from the, the, all the Star Wars. That was the from the Millennium Falcon point of view. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll, I'll find a picture of the other one at some point. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's move on to Calman. Let's go. Oh, you're adding color too. Super cool. Let's see. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Nice. I can see why I like this character, though. I love the design. It's a cool design. Very nice. Oh, you're talking to me? You must have cut yeah. when you said my name. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, I hear I hear Mike talking about highlights and pulling out white and watercolor, and I've just gotten to black. You do. Uh, <laughs> feels like a victory. Sometimes I don't even get get past pencils in these things. But, uh, yeah. No, oh, that's that looks awesome, man. I love it. Thank you. All. So is that the is that like a cape or is that? Yeah, kinda... she's got this sort of shredded, stylized cape. It's like gargoyle wings sometimes, or just brush strokes, depending on oh, who's okay. drawing her cool. at the time. So I'm trying to lean into that, have a little fun, that's get the pickle cool. out, you know. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome, man. All right. Um, <laughs> Jordan said, "Steal away," so I could steal his idea. <laughs> y'all, y'all saw it, right? <laughs> uh, hey, Dominic, Dom Shinye, how you doing, Dominic? Dom? Dominic, Dominic um, was on Dracula Visions, and he also designed, uh, in conjunction with Paul, uh, the. Um, the logo so we have the frankenstein visions uh logo all all ready to go and dom helped design that as well uh what he's asking is anyone else looking forward to bat rent returns from another universe and timeline with the flash <laughs> next month uh mike yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding uh, <laughs> anybody I, um, to that <laughs> I haven't seen any really any of the DC movies, uh, okay. Really, so I, but I would see that one. Uh, well, one thing I, I would see it based on on uh, on, on Michael Keaton being in it. Yeah, I would not me see too. it based on uh, the douchebag playing Flash being in it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I'm kind of torn. I, I will watch it when it's free, probably eventually one day down the road. We're all torn. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'll, I'll definitely see it in the theater. Um, because I want to see Michael Keaton. That sounds not torn. Huh? Yeah, I was not like, torn. Well, I'm torn, but I'm definitely I, seeing it. I'm torn. I, okay, okay. I'm not torn in seeing it. I know I'll see it, but I won't feel all overly good about it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys? You guys are gonna go see this, or? Uh, I feel about the same way. I'm gonna like wait. I think. You're gonna wait. Um, okay. I'm gonna wait, but I mean, I don't know. I would never like disavow anyone who wants to like see the fun movie in the theater i mean it no. it looks rad like it looks super super cool no i'm i i won't crap on anybody's fun either no just exactly. personally uh i'm more interested on the michael keaton part yeah but, oh for yeah. sure yeah, yeah i think it's it's a batman movie <laughs> essentially <laughs> like you know like it's gonna be hard to see that because you're excited about the flash i think it's like Oh shit! Batman Returns. Okay. Or like, <laughs> yeah, know, exactly. Yeah. Batman. All right. Exactly. Is uh, I was gonna say, how, how old is he now? He's like in his seventies. He's got to be up there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there. are they doing a new Beetlejuice as well? Like, is, yes. Yes. Right. And oh I'm God. assuming that he's going to be in. And oh, they I didn't know they. I didn't um, know they were doing a new Beetlejuice. Yep. Yeah. The young Monica. lady who was in the uh, Wednesday, I think, is uh, oh you know, Jenna Ortega. I think Jenna yeah. Ortega. Yeah, she's one of the new it girls now. Yeah, she's doing a good job. Monica Bellucci is playing Beetlejuice's wife. What? Are you serious? Yeah. No, yeah. really? Fantastic. Oh my I God. was googling Monica Bellucci for no reason. You don't. Need yeah. To know. <laughs> and I stumbled across this uh, this piece of information. Good. Good right. for Beetlejuice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew a comb over and uh, you know right. uh, mess teeth could get to that? <laughs> so we're all watching the sequel of Beetlejuice. Yeah, well I am now. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah, Flash though. <laughs> oh, yeah, no Flash. Monica Bellucci. No <laughs> Monica Bellucci. You get you get you get old man Batman. <laughs> well, didn't they already do that in the TV show? Wasn't there a Michael Keaton in the TV show as Batman? I mean, didn't the TV show drink their milkshake like four years ago? <laughs> um, I don't think so. They did some big crisis event, and Michael Keaton did. reprised his Batman. Was he? Oh, yeah. okay, I didn't oh. know that. Oh, okay. But I think it was like a two second cameo, not like mm -hmm. plot, uh, you know. I mean, I, it seems background. like they're kind of doing Batman Beyond, but just with the Flash. See, I would love to see, I would love to have seen that where Michael Keaton plays like yeah. Bruce Wayne with a Batman Beyond. That would have been great. Yeah. But isn't isn't that what this Flash dynamic is, basically? I guess, but I want a, I want a Batman Beyond <laughs> rather than the Flash guy. It, it'll happen sooner than later. I'm surprised with the success of Spider Verse. They didn't just go and make an animated one. I know. I loved it. Did you like the yeah. first one? That was great. Spider Verse. Yeah. Oh my god! Unassailably amazing. From yeah. 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 I think it's like the best like superhero movie in the last like ten years. Like that, so that Kingpin was fantastic. Oh, so good. Yeah. yeah. Bananas, That's man. the Bill Sinkevich Kingpin from the Daredevil Lo Love and War graphic novel. Like yeah. exactly. Yep. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. a piece of Sinkevich art just cut out and pasted into the movie, and it works <laughs> yep. great. Marvelous. Well, I just mean if you, if you were at yes. DC and you were watching the Spider Verse movie, and you would ask yourself, "What do we have that could lean into this?" Because like kids are loving this, it would yeah. probably be Batman Beyond. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. It checks all the boxes. It's like, you know, a legacy character, but a younger version. Uh, red and black bodysuit with face covering and the neon sort of retro future kind of vibe. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. But, you know, I, I think that's inevitable. I think we'll see it. Yep. You heard it here first, folks. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> uh, Paul Kemp says, Paul's Dead Romans cover is beautiful. Oh, Everyone yeah. should check it out oh, at yeah. Gotham Central. I picked that was the first Thanks, cover Paul. that I picked up from the Dead Romans, by the way, Paul. Because uh, I thought it was fantastic. Congrats, man. I didn't know you were in the Dead Romans fam. Are, are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Are, very are you related? Five. What? Say that again. You're my cousin, sister's brother's old dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know, I know Mike just did one, and, oh, yeah. and I, I'm, I did one. I'm going to be on issue five. I oh, really? A while ago, but it's going to be on issue five. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Which Mike Dead did Roman one? Roman Love represent. Well, oh, that's cool. No offense to anyone currently living in Rome. I'm talking about something entirely different. <laughs> I would love to do a cover for that one, man. I love that book. Didn't you do one? I thought I saw you posted something on Oh, that was just a sketch cover that I did. Oh, I thought that was that should be legit, man. That was good. Oh, I thanks, totally man. Yeah. Was, uh, I totally thought it was one. Oh, thank you. Now I've got a couple more of those. I picked up three of them. I'm pretty excited. I wanna I wanna do some more stuff uh, for that one. Right, I, I love that. Slap Fred around for you. Maybe we can make it happen. <laughs> yeah. Here's the here's the Lamenko one. I thought it was. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's so bad, man. God. Yeah. Kick ass! It's kooky how you're able to pull off that that 3D effect on that breaking uh, marble. Like I just don't, I just oh, don't know, yeah. man. You're a wizard, sorcerer. This is, easy. This, <laughs> this is the original. Oh wait, wait, wait! You went too fast for me. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right, right. There we go. There we go. There, there it is. Wow. Nuts. Yeah, it's super cool. Bananas. Wow. Oh, you know what? I just realized we have Calman and Paul on here. Calman, remember? Just that? realized that? No, but I just realized. <laughs> no. I had a chat. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. <laughs> we had a chat. Calman, I don't know if you remember at TCAF, I showed you Paul's piece for Frankenstein. Hell yeah. Hell and yeah, I, I remember. And, and I was like, this, this was painted. It's not digital. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's painted, just painted. And and I actually saw the original, and it's all painted. 
Yeah. Here, here. Paul, that team <laughs> breaks my heart. It kicks ass. It's so good. I know. It's so ridiculous, man. Do you, do you see yeah. him crying? He's crying. <laughs> I had a vision for what I wanted to do for Frankenstein Visions, and there's no point because you've done it 10 times better already. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally why I'm not on that project anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> so the book is done. Kickstarter will start today. Way to go. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Paul, you're too good. You ruined the book. <laughs> I ruined the book. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm not on the next one. <laughs> uh, sorry, let's move on. Hey, Crystal. Crystal says hi. Hi, hey, everyone. Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Um, I could probably break the news now because it's kind of official. But and I don't even know if some of you guys know about this yet. <laughs> but in on October twenty first, uh, in conjunction with the Hero's Tale, which is in Cambridge, uh, we're gonna have a huge uh, celebration of Frankenstein Bash, so to speak, uh, in celebration of the launch of the Kickstarter. Uh, so Crystal's gonna be doing some um, uh, cosplay. We're gonna have artists there. Uh, tabling some of the artists from the book. I'm going to be asking to see if we could get some of the original art, sort of as a sort of a, an art display. And of course, um, wh whoever artists are interested could also sell their art there as well. So that's going to be. I'm going to. I'm going to have all the information uh, up a little later. But uh, big shout out um, to a, the Heroes Tale. It's a brand new comic shop in uh, Cambridge, and uh, you should check it out. We were there Ooh. for the grand opening last okay. month and it was great yeah all right um jordan apparently there may be a female variant of beetlejuice played by aubrey plaza what <laughs> really what sure let's go that's somebody's fetish and they've been waiting 40 years for that <laughs> i we all thought that <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow okay uh Dominic says I just want to see Keaton as Batman again. See the great yeah, suit I agree. The screen. Um even if it's just for one frame. <laughs> yep. yep. Uh yep, new Beetlejuice from Go and Miller. Uh Smallville Wednesday, Jenna Ortega as Lydia's daughter, and Weona is back as Lydia. Ah. Very cool. Uh and then Dom says in crisis keaton uh was just a photo on a front page ah that knox was holding saying he married selena kyle i did not know that i did not see it i was just going on here say okay so then the movie definitely has uh room to grow from that <laughs> yes there you go uh Maria says Mike's in the first issue. I don't know what we were talking about at the time. Last Roman, last, last Romans. <clears throat> or, oh, sorry, last dead Rome, dead Romans. Romans. Right, dead Romans. Yeah, You're I'm in, in that. Issue? I'm in the first issue. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> are you, you a are. model for one of the characters? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. I was an I, ass. I just showed up in the book, and I was like, "That's pretty <laughs> rad." That's awesome. But I love I love both the creators, so they didn't have to ask. They know they know we're just like family, you know. So yeah, yeah, it's such. I'm so happy for that book. Me too. Uh, man. You know what though? It's funny. Like I even said it to Fred. Um, I mentioned it. I said I like for sure. I knew this was going to do really well. Like as soon as I saw it, I knew that there was definitely a market for that book at yeah. this time. You know, it's just there's nothing like it out there right now. So, I thought it was really cool. It's good shit. Uh, I haven't read it. I'm actually going to wait till it's done. Yeah, I'm on the same boat. Yeah. Like, I have two on my shelf. You know, like, I was talking to Fred, and we were just talking about how it's all laid out. I'm like, I don't want to read it in sections. I just want to read it in one go. Yeah, I'm, I, I've am i been spoiled by, like, the Netflix thing. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Was, like, yeah. Uh... She I can't wait for a TV show for a week. I can't wait for a comic for a month. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, that's, that's now I kind of want to see it, though, because you're in it, Mike. <laughs> I want to see you. <laughs> anyway, I'll look at it after. Um, 
Jordan says I'd be in for getting involved in that event. Okay, reach out to me after, Jordan. There's, uh, uh, I believe there's lots of room there. It, it's a huge place, um, and I would say maybe a third is filled right now with comics, and then the rest is just open space. So, um, <laughs> we're gonna do some cool things like. Uh, uh, bring in a projector and show like the the Frankenstein movie on the wall and stuff like that. So it should be a it should be a good time. It'll be a cool like Halloween thing to do. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Do they have a gaming setup? Uh, no. There are two game stores. <laughs> There's literally one next to them and one across the street. Oh damn! Oh, so it's like arguably uh, better. Yeah. So they actually have two major game stores right next to them. Uh, and I just found out they have a record store, <laughs> so that's going to be evil for me. But um, but uh, they have two game stores, and they're staying away from the games, but they have lots of room to do other stuff. And he actually mentioned he might open up like the area to have some of the game store people come over and play D and D and stuff in there. So Ooh. anyway, yeah, I really love that. Just yeah. love hearing about like new shops opening. That's such a I know nice it's so thing. encouraging, man. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. And Andrew, who owns it, is a great guy. You know, like, uh, we hit it off right away when we chatted. So it'd be good. Check it out. All right. Awesome. Um, let's see. Anybody down for some Star Wars trivia? We haven't actually talked a lot about Star Wars. <laughs> I think we talked more about Batman or Splash <laughs> and Beetlejuice. A lot of Beetlejuice. <laughs> All right, let's see. But yeah. All right, Trivia. let's start off with some easy ones. Um, let's see. Uh, well, these are easy. All right. Michael Keaton. What was Hans? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What was Han Solo frozen in? Michael Keaton. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, going forward, every answer has to be Michael Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> How many forms of communication is C three PO fluent in? Uh, 3,000. English, Spanish, and... <laughs> ASL. ASL. <laughs> on. Uh, we're going to go with over 6 million forms of language. All right. Uh, who killed Mace Windu? Uh, technically Anakin? No, no. I Palpatine? guess it was Palpatine. Correct. Yeah. Or Darth Sidious. Or Darth Sidious. <laughs> yes. What is the name of Anakin's stepbrother? Uh, Owen. Owen. <laughs> Owen. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see some good ones here. Wow, some of these are difficult. Uh, what model of aircraft, let's see the real nerds, did Luke <laughs> use to bullseye Wampa Rats? <laughs> oh, I want to say T-15. So close. 16. Wasn't it the Skyhopper? T-16 Skyhopper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but where was he bullseyeing uh, them, everybody? <laughs> Beggars Canyon. Yes. Yes. Um. All right. Who was the first character to speak in the first Star Wars film? C three PO. C three PO. John Williams. <laughs> Wow, okay, let's see if we know this one. Uh, who was Luke Skywalker's gunner during the Battle of Hoth? Dak? Dak. Dak Raltar. Wow, Kalman. <laughs> Ten points for Kalman. Capital N over here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh... 
What species is native to Endor? Ewoks? Correct. <laughs> Isn't that the Ewoks. only species on Endor? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's Techn tricky, though, Technically, because... th that's the moon of Endor. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, true. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Oh. oh, hey. You're right. Oh. This... Buzzfeed okay, I want trash. I want a little brain trust <laughs> advice here. Just help me for a second here. I've always been confused by this. When they say the moon of Endor, does it mean the satellite orbiting the planet Endor? Or is the moon of Endor saying, like, the city of Oz? <laughs> it's the moon of Endor. The moon's called Endor, but it's the moon of Endor. Oh. Like the land oh. of Oz. Which do, you, do we think it is? I was never sure. Hmm. Well, according to this... <laughs> it's the moon of Endor. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll be right back. Guys. What were Padme's last words? Get me out Ow. of this. Get me out of this movie. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Close You're enough. fridging All right. me? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, man? That's Her last was. words were, Obi-Wan, there is good in him. I know there is. Uh, I'll be back in five minutes, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. That's also what she said. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No one's liking the trivia. Everybody's leaving. <laughs> oh, he left the wampa for us to look at, though. Hold on. <laughs> so good. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh my God. I don't know if I agree with the lighting, but cool. Wow, how does he? Yeah. <laughs> how does he do that effect? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave it on there. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm never gonna finish Darth Gonk. Hold on. I love the idea of just taking a character and making it like a Dark Lord of the Sith. It's uh, yeah, it's just the best. You can have so much fun. I want to see a Darth Kowaki monkey lizard someday. Oh, yeah. What are those little mechanical guys? Like the... the uh, no, those little... Like, the little dudes that... Uh, that Grogu Probably. kept keeps hugging. Like the, oh, like the Babu, Babu Freak guys. Dude. Yeah, the They're Babu the Freak guys. from Dark Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to see the... I want to see the Sith version. <laughs> I'd love that. I wish we would honestly, like, no joke. I wish we would see more like um, strange, like critters as uh, force sensitive, yeah, like, characters. Like, it's so much fun. Yeah, it's like why shouldn't they? You know, something where they would have like a really weird lightsaber. Yeah, because <laughs> they have to. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they kind of did it with Yoda. Uh, He's yeah. a weird, tiny little creature. That's true. That's why yeah. we need, like, Darth Babu Freak. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love it. All right. Who killed Jabba? <laughs> That's subjective. <at> that. <laughs> I think he wants uh, to live. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. We're done with uh, Star Wars trivia. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Be back to us. I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't know which one he's referring to. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Uh, nerds. LOL. One more question. One more question. One more question? All right. Let's get a good one here. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, this is kind of cool. Where was the Haas sequences filmed? Thunderdome. <laughs> Did you say Thunderdome? <laughs> Thunder Bay. Oh, Close. Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay. No. Oh. Norway? Uh, hey? Norway? It was in Norway. That's cool. Holy oh, shit, wow. that was a total guess. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was not a total guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Norway, my goodness. Huh? Norway. All right. Uh, yeah, these are 
I hey, you want to hear? I have a, I have a weird little obscure Star Wars trivia thing that when I first found it out, kind of broke my brain. Okay. So you know, okay, so Luke Skyhopper, Beggars Canyon, all that stuff. Yeah. You know how they keep talking about Tashi Station? Yeah. Yes. I think we even see it in a Mando episode. So Tashi mm -hmm. Station was named after a real guy named Dave Toski who was one of the investigators on the Zodiac case. He was the character, I think, Robert what? Downey played. Yeah. Bizarre, like, San Francisco pop culture of the time kind of thing. Yeah. He's a guy oh who my God. a lot, and he made an impression on Lucas. And, yeah, Tashi Station is named after one of the lead Zodiac investigators. Uh, that's, that's amazing. That's a weird one. Very. <laughs> that kind of makes sense, given the time that it came out. Huh. Right. And wow. the geography, right? Like where he. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Oh, these are too easy. Come on. Uh, here we go. What everybody. is the diameter of the first Death Star? <laughs> In kilometers. Oh. <laughs> uh. Sports and now math. Come on, Calvin. <laughs> yeah. You should know this one. <laughs> the diameter of the first Star Wars, and now you I'm can use guess. it. At a, at a, okay, go. Guess. Two two thousand kilometers. I don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> no, no, no. You're you're off. You're out. You're way off. <laughs> well, I, do, well, I don't know. One hundred twenty kilometers. One hundred and twenty kilometers. One hundred and twenty kilometers. Now you could bust that out at a at a dinner conversation one time. What's the circumference of the moon? <laughs> I don't know the circumference of the moon, but I now know the uh, distance of the Death Star. <laughs> More importantly, oh, the moon is ten, almost eleven thousand kilometers. Ah, well, oh, the Death Star is no moon. <laughs> no, that's, this is true. Very cool. All right. So, what are you guys? Uh, what are you guys working on right now? Do you guys have any any projects we should be talking about? I know. Uh, Mike, are you back? No, Mike's gone. <laughs> Mike's gone. Uh, Sean, I know you're coming off of your uh, Kickstarter. Are you still working on stuff for that, or uh, it just thing? got approved by the printer like a day ago? So, uh, Very cool. printer has it it's been sent there, it's already been sent, and uh, yeah, I'm just kind of starting to write the follow up right now and then working what on a for? new volume of Samurai Grandpa. Uh, uh, and yeah, that's that's. Uh, among other things, that's kind of the two most imminent. So you're doing work. a follow-up to Samurai Grandpa and uh, the last Kickstarter as well. The uh, sorry, I keep I keep keep calling it the Pokemon one. But... It basically, I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a very good reason for that. Actually, that's uh, yeah, it's all uh, yeah. That that one is uh, getting a follow-up. Uh, oh, that's cool. Being written and. Uh, yeah, I'll start drawing it a little bit later. I gotta start working on the, the Samurai Grandpa follow-up, and then uh, yeah, that's that's mostly it. I'm thinking about doing a, a very small Kickstarter in a I don't know, maybe a month or so uh, for some more Terracool stuff. Because uh, when I had oh, first cool. started like self-publishing, it was all Terracool stuff. And since then, I've written and drawn a bunch of new short stories, and I was like, yeah. Just kind of sitting on these i haven't really done anything with them so i think feel like it's time to just like release them now you you do your pages really fast or it seems like you're doing them really fast like how long does it take you to do uh, a full page uh if curious. it's black and white i can get two done in a day but wow you do it all uh by hand uh yeah it's all in like uh, paper cool. yeah Oh, very cool. Uh, Mike's back. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey. Hey, man. Um, and you're you mentioned you're you're still working on uh, some dodge pages. Yeah, I finished uh, penciling uh, everything last week, um, and uh, I've been inking, and I'm uh, 
Yeah, it's a lot to do. I'm, I'm actually thinking I might um, handle a couple of pages digitally. I've never really felt great uh, inking digitally, but a few of these pages, well, I'll be honest with you. My eyes are kind of getting worn out, and um, I'm finding some of the finer work to be uh, more exhausting than it used to be. Uh, so I, um, I I might do a little bit of inking on the uh, on the iPad, which is weird because... I'm still trying to figure out the brush that I like and the you know the, mm -hmm. whatever. Like I'm still trying to find the tool that feels like it gets the closest to what I can do on paper. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of long days. Uh, the Kickstarter will hopefully happen uh, in June. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's happening in June. Matt's moving right now, uh, so we we're going to have it in, in May, but we're going to it off till June instead. And, uh, <coughs> Yeah, pretty excited. We got a awesome variant cover already uh, already submitted uh, by a friend of this show and an artist who's on the Frankenstein book. Um, and uh, I have uh, I got some plans for uh, for some for this for this thing. And then, yeah, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's going to be weird to one day wake up soon and not have that comic book to draw because I've been drawing it for five years. Is it coming to a conclusion? Is that yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm drawing the last issue right now. Well, oh. in the retcon universe, nothing really truly ends, but uh, yeah. at least this story called Dodge is going to be coming to an end. And uh, oh. you first meet Dodge in Matt's comic Retcon, which came out from the Image. Uh, it was drawn by Toby Cypress in 2017, and uh, it's an awesome graphic novel if you guys haven't checked it out. But, uh, it's it's kind of where you first meet Chris the Animal Dodge and uh lieutenant swan and the different characters that are all in the, in the dodge comic but i get to design a couple of characters in dodge uh in this last issue the last issue is pure action and uh lots of uh lots of i get to design a few a few new characters to add to the mix and uh yeah it's been a lot of fun it's gonna be it's gonna be really rewarding when that uh, project has uh, come to an end it'll be really weird when it's over that's cool wow. congrats yeah. on uh yeah. thanks man that's so cool yeah, that is awesome, man. So, uh, so you're saying potentially June? Yeah, we're gonna have the Kickstarter for issue four in June. Uh, okay. I'll probably still be inking a few, the last few pages uh, by then. Um, I've done the the, pro the thing that's slowing on the Kickstarter right now is I've got to get like our preview, the preview chunk of the book, uh, fully illustrated, colored, and lettered uh, in time for the Kickstarter. So that's that's on me to get those pages together. Uh, so those are the ones I'm focusing on right now. Um, but yeah, there's lots of big action pages and big splash stuff happening. And it's, uh, the big payoff that if you've been reading Dodge these past three issues, um, it's been leading to this and, uh, yeah, it's got some interesting twists. I think you guys are going to like it. Very cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. Man. And if you need a model with uh, newly grown curly hair and a little bit of a gray in it, you know. <laughs> I wanted to mention too, a uh, friend of the show. I'm not sure. Maybe he's watching tonight. Uh, Thomas Day. He's a sculpt, 3D ah, yes. sculptor that is uh, on. Uh, things are getting sketchy a lot on Saturday nights. He's yeah. been doing some incredible 3D uh, renditions of my characters, and you know, I've always wanted to play around with uh, you know 3D modeling or just. I love I love sculpting. I always keep a piece of clay on my table uh, just for quick, um, you know quick little builds for light and shadow reference and things like that. But um, I would love to play with the 3D sculpture because seeing your characters uh, in a context where they could become action figures or statues or whatever, it really just kind of set my brain on fire in a way I, I had always knew that it would. But uh, seeing someone actually doing it and putting the work in and making these awesome things, like it just it's just kind of a real trip for me. So That's awesome. uh, is, can't wait to show those things to you guys. For, for hmm? Dodge? Is he doing some stuff for Dodge? Uh, well, he's making some. He's he's making some stuff. I don't want to say too much until we know okay. what we're doing with it. But he's yeah, making. Yeah. He's done three D three D renderings and uh, and lots of like kind of prop builds on uh, stuff from the book. And it just it's just fucking awesome to see. <laughs> there's cool, no man. other way to say it. It's just it's just literally fucking awesome to see. So, I'd, yeah. I'd love to paint one up. I'll ask him if he's got a. Oh yeah, yeah. No, he's painting me up a couple of things too, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll chat. I'll, I'll I'm sure he I'll I'm sure he'd be happy to share what he's been doing. Um, I uh, cool. yeah, it's uh, 
it's just cool. And then he like the other day he put some motion capture on one of the things he built. I didn't even know that was a thing he could do. And holy yeah. shit, was that awesome! So yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I feel wow. like a little kid looking at this stuff as every time he sends me an update with an email. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty rad. I'm I'm very excited. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna show this thing really quick. So speaking of 3D builds, this is currently a commission I'm working on right now of a Darth Revan helmet. Came out really cool. So I've been doing a lot of this lately. So awesome. uh, hit me up. Uh, I like doing this stuff in the summer because I could go outside because there's a lot of sanding involved and a lot of chemicals and all sorts of fumes and stuff. So it's a lot easier to do it outside and in the house. Uh, so I try to get all my uh, commissions done in the summer uh, just in time for uh, Comic-Con season. But, uh, nice. Tons of cool stuff on the way. I've been posting them along as we go along. It's such yeah. a cool hobby. It's like, a, yeah. I don't know. Some it of is. Those, like, There's so much to learn, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I feel that way about painting like miniatures. And, uh, you know, even though I'm not like building them and assembling them, it's, uh, it's still like kind of practicing painting on a three dimensional plane is, uh, it's a different it's a, experience. It's a skill in itself. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I've been doing. That's where I started, and now I've kind of gotten to like bigger things, and I'm relearning a lot of stuff too, right? Because you could get away with certain things when it's small, <laughs> that sure, you can't yeah. when it's big, um, and vice versa, actually. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna catch up on some of this. Uh, Renee says, Padme's last words were, "Careful, Anakin, that gun's low." <laughs> <laughs> that sounds made up. Wow. <laughs> That's legit. Uh no credit. Says, it's terrible, but it's great. <laughs> um hey Rob. Rob's saying hey boys. Hey, Rob. What's going on, Rob? Very cool. Uh mm -hmm. Renee also wants to know how many of you have watched the star the seventies Star Wars Christmas special. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I don't even think it was a Christmas special. It was called something else, right? Was the it a holiday special? Life, holi life, life Day. Life Day, yeah. yes. yes. Happy Life Day. <laughs> Happy Life Day. Does Sounds it like actually land birthday. on Christmas? Does, does Life Day land or is it a, a different date? <laughs> I don't know. Good question. Calman? <laughs> even I don't know that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would assume they have an entirely different calendar a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So. Yeah. Essentially, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That's true. Do they have Jesus in Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Darth Jesus. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking at, at these questions. Nothing's... Uh, boo. These well, are you're, easy. Not, you're not impressed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I, you meant trivia questions. Impressed. I thought, questions. I thought you were talking okay. about people's questions in the comments. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. We're good with those. All right. Uh, let's have a look again at some of the art. Uh, <laughs> Renee says, Boot of the Hut. That's cool. Sean, are you done? Almost, uh, almost. Whoa. It's, uh, getting close. Whoa. Getting close. Looking. Oh, back. that's cool. What else is there to do? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it always hits me like two hours after I finish something, and I've yeah. sent it off, and I'm like, oh, I forgot this. Uh, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. That is cool. It feels like there's always that's something. Great. Well, you got the other six characters today, right? <laughs> I'll save, <laughs> I'll save the, the next round of painting for the uh, Shatterpoint minis, I think. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, that's awesome, man. I love it. Yeah. Very cool. Let's have a look at Paul's here. Oh, man. Whoa. Those folds are so nice. Ooh. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> so are the... Damn, What's on the cool. other side of the papers there? Is it just like cutting the? What uh, am I missing here? Let me let me show you. Okay, you don't have to if it's gonna like mess things up. 
What? <laughs> I knew there was something there. There's more software. <laughs> <laughs> the the sequel. Is big. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's ridiculous. Oh, the uh... Yeah, one. This is the previous one. Oh, that's the other one. A little Darth Vader. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's rad, man. I love that piece. Oh, yeah. so cool. And so I'm almost a... humongous, right? Yeah, this one is actually bigger. The this one on my iPad is bigger than this actual painting. I think by like six inches wider. Oh wow! Correctly. Jeez. This one wow. is this one's twenty inches by eight. Whew. Yeah. Like film film ratio also. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Brilliant man. Yeah yeah. So what is that? Sixteen by nine is the. Yeah, that's cool. Very yeah. cool. So the other one was a commission you did before? Yeah, yeah. And um, that was, I don't know, I gave the guy a bunch of sketches and he liked that one. So I did that. And then as I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, but I want to do the other one too. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I love when that happens, yeah. man. That's cool. Yeah. Because inevitably, once in a while, you'll have a, a client. This happened to me recently. A client will choose... Like I did this Ricky, this rookie move last month. I was submitting roughs for a project, and I wanted to pad it. It was my first time working for this publisher, so I padded it with a few extra concepts, which you should never ever do. And I did, and uh, of course they chose they chose one of my like auxiliary like E class uh, <laughs> ideas when the A was like the the you know the the primo one was sitting right there. But anyway, this happens sometimes. Uh, I was going somewhere with this story. I just lost my train of thought. But, uh, yeah, like yes, but like, yes, it's always nice when you can reuse a concept that gets rejected, because sometimes right. that's where some really good shit is, and you know you can you use it. I, I mean, I, there's a lot of things. You know, uh, you know, spoiler. A lot of the times when I'm doing these live shows, I'm very often using a concept or a composition from something that was submitted that didn't get used or. Because I always kind of overdo it, you know, with with concepts. Like I'll do, five, they ask for three, I'll do five, and then pick three of the best ones, or you yeah. know, send all five and then curse myself when they choose, you know, <laughs> crappy yeah, idea. Oh, like, oh no! Like you see it in your head one way, but you don't know how the other, how they're going to see it in their heads, right? The exactly. Other, yeah. Like, yeah. What are they inspired by versus you? Like sometimes yeah. what I'll do, like. If it's like a cover or something, like I'll 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 work on a sketch a lot more than the other ones, so they just sort of like sway, <laughs> sway their decision. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much more polished. Go with this one. Well, <laughs> well like I remember you. Have you seen um that step by step video of Drew Struzan painting uh, the Hulk poster? Anyway, there's a, this is a documentary oh. of him painting uh, uh, the, the, not the, the Hellboy poster. And uh, he was saying that it, it was getting so competitive with other poster artists that he basically had to do a small version of the poster, of the concept, but like fully done. So that like the, uh, the film studio or whoever would pick his, his concept to do it versus another poster artist because they right. can actually see it fully they didn't have to use their imagination or assume what it's going to look like yeah yeah so like oh yeah i should do that That's <laughs> nice. this is it's good for drew it's good for me yeah no, that's exactly. the best. but it's so funny yeah. like you see other other covers and stuff and it's like this is awesome but you kind of wonder what like do they actually enjoy doing this one like how many people had their fingers or hands in it? Like, like, you know, change this, do this, make it this. Yeah. Way. Right. Yeah, for sure. Got to meet Drew Stuzan at uh at a Fan uh, Expo. An Expo. Right? Yeah, it was super yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, it was really odd where they put him though. They put him like in the other 
building by himself? North building? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I missed out on that one, but when I heard, when I saw it, I was like, why is he over there? Yeah, he was like by where the merchandise is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, weird. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he had a huge table and stuff, but I don't think any, a lot of people knew where he was. or hmm. So I, I, I walked right up to him and started chatting and got on to sign my. Uh, I had a big Drew Stuzan, um like poster book thing, and uh, yeah. Oh, cool! But it was very cool. Yeah, it was nice to meet him. Uh, Matego Elodoro Pena says, "Just saying hi." Hey, what's up, man? Yo, how you doing? Hello. Bonjour. Um, Crystal Hope says, "Wow." There you go. Crystal uh -oh. is. Uh... Is uh, cosplaying as what Frankenstein? I'm gonna assume. Sorry. Crystal she's... is is cosplaying at the event. The yeah, yeah, event. she's gonna be. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, she's gonna be Frankenstein. I won't say what it is yet, but <laughs> there's a couple of options, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, we're gonna again. We're, we're still kind of working out the details. Um, it'd be great. We're gonna try to get a liquor license and stuff, but um yeah yeah so we'll see we'll see how that goes uh but we don't know exactly yet so just giving you a, a heads up uh we know the date we know some of the folks that are going um uh, but once we sort of nail down the details i'll i'll definitely let everybody know all right uh let's head over to calman here let's see what's going on calman you there i'm right here you're there. Can you can you slide it over just a little bit to the left? Oh, cool. Ooh, yeah, looking good. Wow. Let's see. Thanks, guys. Yeah. That is a cool pose. Thank you. So, in one sentence, how does that uh, work? That style that you're talking about earlier. Can you can, can you break it down like that or? It's um, if you know what a gesture drawing is, it's about. Part of of life drawing where you would normally go from gesture to structure, okay. it is it is a, a method of structure that keeps everything more like a gesture. Oh, very cool! So instead oh. of actually like literally defining like where a bone is, um, and where a muscle would go over, there's this. Yeah. It's a sort of stylization of like these gestural lines that kind of go over the surface of the body that still will work all together as a structure, but right. kind of keep a lot of that gesture flow that kind of tends to get chiseled away as you define uh, and lock things down. Right. But it's uh, also an imperfect system. It's like Kung Fu after Mao. Like there's a handful of pieces. Every now and then someone finds something new, but the whole thing it's meant to come together as is not quite fully understood. Hmm. Therefore, it fascinates me. I love... I'm a vintage picker. I love hidden, weird, half-formed, imperfect things, and so I'm extra obsessed with it on that level. Yeah, it's really cool. Love it. It's it's debatable how well I've captured it, but it definitely made my relatively stiff work less stiff once I started using it. Well, I'd say it's working, man. Yeah, yeah me beautiful. too. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, let's head back to Mike. Here we go. Ooh, oh, very nice. Yeah. Mike, are you going to be able to get that done? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, oh my goodness. You know, I'm actually thinking I might just uh, draw a few areas of focus and just kind of let it be a little bit more of a light sketch. Okay. Um, just because I'm not really sure. I haven't really got a ton of time to put beyond the hours of the show here. So I, sure, uh, yeah, yeah, that's. I got yeah. a page to ink tonight and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. I might just do some contrast through focus, kind of uh, finishing on this. Uh, I, I hate drawing guns and whatnot. Uh, Star Wars guns are so ridiculous. But uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm gonna puzzle those out. I guess uh, they're kind of <laughs> stick man form right now. But uh, yeah. Give yeah, Mike a cable comic. <laughs> <laughs> Every gun's looking like a toaster in this. Comic. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it. and a hair dryer. Hair dryer um, for everybody. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, like, like you let me know what what works for you, Mike. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just uh, I'll send you a scan whatever state it's going to be in. So yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. yeah whatever you no can worries. do. It already looks uh, amazing. So. Oh, thanks, man. 
That's awesome. All right, let's put it down. Um, all right, so we got. Uh, by the way, I posted the mailing list sign up list in the chat. So if you have a second and you can throw your uh, email quickly into the mailing list, uh, we're going to do some draws. Uh, probably for some copies of the, the Dracula book. I have a few little doodads and things from the last Kickstarter uh, that I'll probably be uh, doing some draws and giveaways for. Um, so I got a few things. I got a few things in mind. Um, there might be some digital rewards and stuff too. So uh, you can get that all through the um, through the mailing list. Um, Montego says, love it. Cool. And uh, Mr. McIntosh says, beautiful work, guys. Every piece is turning out fantastic. I have to agree. Thank you, Brandon. Except for Darth Gonk. He's not doing too well. <laughs> yeah, you don't talk about Darth Gonk. Like you don't that. talk about Darth Gonk. He's just an innocent boy. <laughs> How many midi chlorians did Darth Gonk get? I don't know. <laughs> it depends on the size of his hard drive. <laughs> I just feel so sad for them. They're like, they're batteries, right? Like the gonks. I think I think that's yeah. their job. They're batteries. Sure. You gonna have the lightsaber come out of the eye? No, I gave him a hand. <laughs> <laughs> he only has two fingers though, because he has like two toes on each foot. That's the last opportunity. Uh, it's like locking not, garbage. I gotta redo it now. <laughs> it's not getting redone ever. <laughs> There's a uh, Gonk Jordan Shatterpoint uh, as uh, a piece of terrain. So, There's a Gonk? There's a Gonk, yeah, in Shatterpoint as a, a piece of uh, board terrain. So. Oh, that's All right. fun. Uh, I'm in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you got me with the Gonk. <laughs> <laughs> Plus the fact that he just says his own name over and over again is great. Gonk, Gonk. Um, <laughs> Uh, Montica says, uh, these are really good. First time I've actually watched one live, digging it. Thank cool. you for watching uh, live. I appreciate it. Thanks yeah, man. Sharing these folks on, these awesome uh, artists, and all the money's going to some great causes. So uh, we'll put those in the chat. Um, we'll have the auction go up tomorrow. Uh, if there's a delay, I'll let you know. Uh, if if Mike wants more time or something. <laughs> so we'll let oh, you know. no, I'll be all right, man. We'll get it done. We'll get no, it done. Uh, right. And we'll set it up for tomorrow, and then we'll have it run till Friday uh, about 5 o'clock. But uh, there is some pretty cool opportunity here to get some wicked um, art. Uh, da, 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 da. Put our email where? So I put a link up earlier, uh, but if you go, Crystal, to the Slam Press Tomes um, here, actually, I'll just show it to you. I'll pick it up here. Do, do, do. Give me one second. Yep. So if you go to, oh, I didn't put it up yet. One sec. <laughs> there we go. Let's try this again. If you go to the Slant Press Tomes uh, Facebook page and you go right over to the sign up here, you just click that. It'll take you to Frankenstein Visions page and then you put your email and subscribe. It's that easy. It takes you uh, two minutes. All right. Um, Jordan Noir says, you guys, y'all killed it tonight. Thanks, Jordan. Cheers, Thanks. man. Thanks, buddy. We'll get Jordan back on the show as well. It's some mm -hmm. really cool stuff. All right, final eight minutes, guys. Final eight minutes. Who wants to see some Darth Gonk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Bring me the gonk. gonk. <laughs> there he is. There Love he it. is. Love wow. it. So angry. Yeah, he's a garbage bin. He's a McDonald's. Yeah, garbage. look at him. Look at him. <laughs> His proportions might be off a little. That's all right. <laughs> it's a stylized version. No, yeah, he's perfect. He's a little twisted. It's 
beautiful. It's a little twisted. Yeah. But it looks like he, you know what? It, it actually reminds me, it looks like a little old man, like, shaking his cane in a way. <laughs> so that's how I... <laughs> it's like, get off my lawn! He's telling all the Jedi. Get off my lawn! <laughs> yeah. It's like Gran Torino Gonk. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so Martin, twenty twenty seven Gonk Visions. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We're gonna have uh twenty seven covers for that one too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just covers. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Mr. McIntosh says, "Rock it out with your gonk out." <laughs> oh I agree. Atta boy, I like as you show. do. Rock yeah. out with your gonk out. <laughs> Can I just show a little Easter egg? Check this out. I wonder if Calman will get this one. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I can't actually see the screen because of how. Oh, you can't see the screen. Camera, yeah. Okay, so there's a little symbol right here. Right where the gonk has his gonk, and that's the that's that's the Sith the Sith symbol symbol. Mm. I googled it up. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That's how we know it's an evil gonk. That's why. Well, yeah. also the gonk the gonk evil face. is marked with the gonk. He's got the angry gonk face. There you go. <laughs> Sith mark junk of the gonk. <laughs> the gonk's gonk. There you go. Old man gonk. This is turning into a real gonk show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, old man gonk. is uh, It's going to be a thing. <laughs> Copyright. Someone get that website fast. All right, let's do a last, uh, a last uh, walkabout uh, on the pieces since we have five minutes left. Um, and also mention what the um, charity is going to be for your charity. So let's go around. Uh, Sean, I'm going to do yours here first. Cool. Let's do it. Oh, awesome, man. Clone Wars Dooku. Yes. Uh, Charity is uh, a West End women's shelter uh, for women and their children who need a place to uh, just live for uh, any amount of time for pretty much any reason. So, um, Fantastic. Yeah. That's that. Uh, uh, and anybody who bids... Uh, they will also get the disgusting piece of scrap paper that I use oh, wow. for <laughs> all of the colors. I don't know why, but <laughs> some people ask for this uh, yep. when I send the really? commissions. They're just like, hey. Really? Yeah. If there's any scrap paper with all the paint used on it, please uh, send it along. So, All right. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, that is yours <laughs> as well. We, we uh, could put that as a separate option. That's awesome. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's see who does. Right let's see. Here. Let's see who does more: the scrap paper or gonk. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the scrap paper. I'd vote for gonk. The, by his <laughs> shot, by his waist, uh, under his elbow, is there a piece of tape? Oh, there sure is. Uh, actually, that's. <laughs> I didn't color that. That's great. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, was, awesome. I, 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 was just, oh. I was like, what, what did he change since, since last time? You yeah. <laughs> you got great, great coming off the saber, man. That looks awesome. That Thank looks you. great, yeah. right? Well yeah. done. Much That's appreciated. Some good, That's some good trickery there. <laughs> he has such a cool lightsaber, too. He does. Yeah, I love that curved handle. It's I so, love uh, that. It's so posh. So, uh, I it's love so that. Dooku, you know? Yeah, he would hang out with Darth Gonk for sure. Oh, for sure. Two, no, two old yeah. crusty met old crusty Sith guys. For sure. Yeah, he had a <laughs> he actually had a really neat story in uh I can't remember what the like Tales of the Jedi, I think is what it was called. Hmm. Uh it was on, yes. it's on yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It was yeah. just these shorts um that are in the Clone Wars style that take place at different eras, pretty much but a lot of his Clone Wars style stuff. And there's some like young Dooku stuff in there when he was still in the Jedi Order and it's super cool. Uh not something I was expecting, but it's very neat. Huh. Yeah, huh. with uh what's his name? Liam Neeson. Got, uh, yes. Qui-Gon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like you can get to see a little Qui-Gon. There's some Yaddle, some Yaddle stuff. Yaddle. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is good stuff. Very cool. Uh yeah. just very quickly uh, Montego's asking how long these shows go for. We're just about to wrap it up. <laughs> so just so you know, we're, we're ending up just about a 10. So there you go. 
<laughs> uh, also, uh, Paul just put Sorry. fifty dollars on that, Sean. Thank um, you, Paul. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, man. So there you go. And Jordan mentions that uh, I use blanks for my dabbers, and after about ten books, I turn them into art and give them away. People go nuts for them. Beautiful. <laughs> That's, That's so cool. cool. Yeah, good that's, idea. Really love good it. idea. Love it. Is that right on. Called? Dabbers? Dabbers. Dabbers. Yeah. Dabbers. That makes so much sense, though. Yeah. That's so cool. All right. I'm going to jump over to uh, Paul right quick. Yes. Oh, uh, very cool. You're asking what chair are you right? Give us the wide shot. Ah. <laughs> 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 And Paul, what's your charity? Uh, Parkdale Community Food Bank. Food Bank. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Very and timely. A, Excellent. Yeah. And, uh, man, someone's – a lot of people are – I might have to bid on some of these. A lot of people are going to come home with some awesome, awesome uh, art. That's so cool. I'm going to run over. <laughs> uh, definitely starting Paul off at 50. I think Paul's already at 50. Uh, if you look earlier, so you'd have to like just jump it up to 55. That's all right. Okay. Um, now let's head over to Calman. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. so beautiful. That's so amazing. Love that. Yeah, I love it. Keep it to the left a little. Oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Such good energy. Oh. Whew. Dang. Yes. Thanks, guys. So I've got a do some wash, darken in some areas. And she's got this circuitry painted on this intersection. I'm going to do that in a white pen. And of course, this is not a lightsaber. This is a glowing lightning whip. So that'll come oh, right. yes, that's so cool. in uh, white. That's rad, yeah. That that is I'm a genius and a professional. I did not put my white pens within reach here. So that'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> what, pen right. are, what pen are you using right now for that uh, ink? Uh, mostly brush. Cool. Uh, but then I'm also using these zebra pens. Let me see if I can line it up right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah so I, I'm right. really bonded with the fattest one. I started with the navy blue ones, which are like the thinnest ones, but they can get a reasonably thick line. Then there's a light gray, which is medium, and then the dark gray is this fat one, though. I'm really kind of grooving with the fat one lately. Cool. And those are like brush pens? Like a... Yeah, it's sort of a fiber, fiber tip. It's not yeah. really a brush. Yeah like a brush tip Ooh. so it's japanese you can get them from a site called jetpens.com they specialize in like Jet importing pens. international inking tools uh i order from them once or twice a year it's not cheap but it's the only way to get them and in terms of disposables i've not found anything uh that is as durable and kind of gives me the kind of predictable line i want as it does these two beautiful i'm seriously loving that cloak too <laughs> that's Thank so you. cool yeah that is wicked. All right. Uh, and sorry, Calman, your charity? My charity is the Toronto Humane Society. People are abandoning pets in record numbers because of how difficult it is to make ends meet. Expenses yep. are out of reach. Um, shooting up constantly. And the, the sad sort of outcome of that is suddenly there's a real rise in people just bailing on their pets. And that sucks. Yeah. So, it wanna, does. I, wanna... I totally get it. Uh, I, just, I just got a $600 pet bill. <laughs> I thought so. you were gonna say I, I get it. I just left my dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I, but, yeah, yeah. I, I need to yeah, that's, uh, that's a good the charity. Right really really on the corner, that. you know. There, you know, go pick them up if you're interested. No, <laughs> but no, I get. I understand. You know, it's, it's tough times, and uh, yeah, yeah. I, I have a very, I have a soft spot for for pets. Uh, we didn't even talk about. Um, uh, sorry, what's the, what's that film? Guardians of the Galaxy oh, 3. Mm. But anyway, <laughs> if you have a soft spot for pets, man, yeah, that'll that'll get you. That'll get you. Uh, very cool. And by the way, uh, there's $65 on Paul's now. Um, cool. All right, let's move over. Uh, and Mike, I'm going to have a quick last look here. Wow. Oh. Love it. Super cool. Nailed it, man. Oh, yeah. It's a little heavy-handed in some spots, but I can hide that with splatter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mike, yes. that's amazing. Uh, yes. um, yeah, yeah, so... That was really so great. Nice. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, a little little more to go on this than I had hoped, but that's okay. I'll get her done. Um, yeah. And uh, the charity um, will be the uh, Toronto um, the Toronto Wildlife Rescue. 
because there's a big problem right now with a lot of um well i mean you know there's coyotes walking by my window you know mm. like <laughs> in the city so yep. you know there's a major problem so uh uh but yeah they help out a lot with those kind of situations which are not often uh not often nice ones yeah for sure yeah. There you go. Get a twofer. Get my piece and Mike's piece. Help the indoor animals. Help the outdoor animals. That's it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Paul says, thanks for the show. It's amazing how these great artists give their time and skill to charity. I have to wholeheartedly agree, Paul. Um, I will continue to do those as long as I have very generous artists uh, to also help me out do these things. Um, I really appreciate it. And of course, uh, for everybody who's watching as well, I really appreciate it. Who is, um, you know, over the last, when did we start this? 2020? 2020. 2020. 2020, beginning of 2020. Yeah. Like, um, that have been with us yeah. all along. Yep. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate this. And I will definitely continue to do it as long as there are people that are willing to watch it and uh, artists that are willing to draw on it. So there you go. Uh, last little comment here. Uh, absolutely stunning work, gentlemen. Fantastic work all around. Thank you. Uh, so metal nice. sign, uh, <laughs> glasses, fire, fire, fire. Nice. All right. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everyone. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for thanks again to, uh, to uh, Mike, to, to Paul Amenko. Uh, to Mr. Daly, to, uh, to Calman. Um, again, thanks for your time. And uh, we'll see each other again next month. And we'll do another Sketchful Mania. Sweet. All right. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank Cheers. you. Bye. Be good. Bye. May the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs>